In this problem, we have to find the derivative, so dy dx. Now, uh, unlike many of the problems that we've done, um, the y here is like inside the sine function, so we haven't really solved for y. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called implicit differentiation. We're going to start by just taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. I'll indicate that by writing d dx of e to the 2x equals d dx. This means take the derivative with respect to x of sine of x plus 3y. So the very first step is going to be to simply differentiate both sides with respect to x. You don't have to write this down um, if you're doing this. You know, you can just take the derivative. But since I'm making a video, I wanted to show the extra step of writing it down. Okay, so on the left-hand side, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But here it's e to the 2x. So we have to use the chain rule. So it'll be e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside function. So our inside function is 2x, and its derivative is 2. Boom. Here we have the sine of x plus 3y. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have sine of some other stuff, though. So what we'll do is we'll write cosine, and then you leave the inside untouched, and then times the derivative of the inside. The inside piece is two separate terms, so we need a parentheses. The derivative of x is 1 plus the 3 hangs out. And what is the derivative of y? Well, it's the derivative of y. It's what we're looking for. So it's called dy dx. And we're looking for the derivative. So dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x is just the derivative of y with respect to x. Um, we're looking for dy dx. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by this cosine of x plus 3y. Cosine of x plus 3y. So we have, I'm going to put this, I'm going to write, put a 2 in the front. So 2e to the 2x over, and then we have cosine of x plus 3y. And that's equal to 1 plus 3 times dy dx. We just have to solve for dy dx, and we're good. I guess we can subtract 1 from both sides, so minus 1, minus 1. I'm also going to put this on the left-hand side to make it look better. So 3 dy dx equals 2e to the 2x over cosine of x plus 3y, then minus 1. We are almost done. We just have to divide by 3. That's going to give us a complex fraction, so it might be better instead to just do this, multiply by one third, multiply by one third, boom. So we end up with dy dx equals, let's distribute it here to this piece and pull out the two, so write it like this, two thirds e to the two x over cosine of x plus three y, and then distribute the one-third here will give us minus one-third. Not a very pretty answer. Not a very uh, nice uh, answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.